I bet a wheel hasn't been on there in over 50 years. She's airborne. That's not what I hoped it would do. You're hoping it'd slide back? <laughs> What's plan B? Kenner and I are out here today. We got this 37 we got a while back and it's been on the trailer ever since we got it home. We haven't had a place to put it. Well, we finally have made a spot for it and uh, we gotta throw these wheels that came with it on there so it'll at least keep stuff out of the dirt. We pulled the lug nuts off, ran a tap and die through everything to clean all the threads up so hopefully we can bolt these on. Okay, go ahead and jack that thing up, Kenner. Okay, we were worried about it rolling backwards or not. <laughs> nope. Those uh, back brakes, I better completely locked up. Well, actually, if I remember correctly, one of them spins and the other one doesn't spin at all. Are you gonna stick this plate on? Uh, so the wheel goes on and then the plate goes on on the outside of the wheel. Okay. I bet a wheel hasn't been on there in over 50 years. You can even get a thread, then it'll hold it enough. You can beat it on with a hammer some more. Snug them up. Okay, cool. Makes it look like a, a train wheel on the front. The way those split rims are. Yeah, it's the good widow makers. You look at it, it just, it just kind of looks like a train wheel. This side was the side out of the dirt. The other side was in the dirt. That's why it went on so much easier. We just gave it a lift kit. <laughs> it's called wheels. Hey, it, it lifted the body further off the ground. It's a lift kit. Sure. Well, I guess we take it back to the spot and we get Grizz out. Because I don't think it's just going to roll off the trailer. Probably not. I think it's going to need uh, some persuasion. These two remotes, and having to come back to use this thing, it's already kind of old. So Why don't you just make both the remotes one piece? Well, we're actually gonna do a wireless remote for all of this. Oh, okay. So look for that coming, because it'd be kind of nice if you're out there like a like a service truck, and you got the crane that you controls, you can just kind of hang and have right here, and you can work and run them. It'd be kind of nice. So. Let us know if you know of something really easy that's kind of plug and play universal that works. Drop a line, send us an email at uh, this email right here and let us know. All right. Just, we're gonna pull it forward. We're gonna see if we can get it on that frame. You know how to work the shifter? Huh? No. Oh, it's just a zigzag pattern. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Just slow movements. We got that big old hanging pendulum back there. Okay. Down on the other one. Again. Okay. I'm gonna give Kenner a solid A minus for his first time running that. Even for some experienced people, he did pretty darn good running the, the record. Probably not better than I did out here running the boom. Well, he's about to be a second time when we get this 37 off. We're gonna put it right where I'm standing. Right in that hole. 
We moved those axles because they were at the back. So now we can push it back and be farther out of the way. Let's go get it. So what I'm thinking here, take these. I'm hoping to kind of pick up the front of this. It'll kind of swing it. So I'm hoping we can just kind of pick it up. It won't swing it too bad and extend the boom and use it to help push this off the trailer. We're gonna try it. We need a hand throttle. Some of the 72s have that hand throttle right by the wiper switch you pull out. We need one of those. You got one? We need you to email us. We need it. A minute, I'll need you to idle the truck up. And maybe hold the brake too, or? Uh, I don't need you to hold the brake. <laughs> well, the truck will probably die. I'd actually like you to be out here for a second to help me watch things at first. Okay. So the truck will probably die. But, we got full throttle batteries. So we got plenty of current to run it. Oh, I forget this, that's full throttle still. Yep, it's got two group 31, so that's that's a lot of, a lot of juice. A lot of juice, yep. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna get this up above the hood, just where it almost touches the, the hood ornament. Right there. Starting to pick it up. Okay. Open it, slide back. I'm pretty sure those brakes are locked up. Yeah, I bet those brakes are locked up. What's plan B? I don't think those are ever gonna spin. It's pushing the truck, for this truck forward, but not moving that. Okay. What we can do to get it off the trailer is go pull it straight, hook here, and pull it off. But then how do we get it like in this spot? I guess we could do that and we just nose the front end. We'll slide these ramps back in, unhook Grizz, pull forward, drag it off, back it in right here. Okay. Hopefully we can do it. So we'll reposition. I don't think we mentioned before, but my dad's gone. He's helping Paul on the Onyx build. Let's get this turned around, moved, repositioned, and we'll try plan B. And hopefully it's a little more successful. Hey, you know that new shackle we got that's in the garage? Oh yeah, the one that's actually designed to be crap like that. Yeah, go grab it. What we need a do? third soft shackle. Okay. okay. Yeah, Yankum just sent us one of these. So it's one of their typical soft shackles, but it has this fancy cover on it. Not exactly what the stuff that they dip this in is, but it's pretty much indestructible and it's like the same stuff that they put on the end of their ropes but they just do that to protect the shackle when you're doing stuff like this. And we're gonna use the back winch, so we need a third sh soft shackle. If you want this <laughs> soft shackle, or that soft shackle, or the fair leads, or the ropes, or whatever else you want. If it's hot, you should shut up. The, yeah, I should. <laughs> but go to Yankum Ropes website, <laughs> wow. use this code. I'm not even gonna try and remember what the code is. Just add it right here, Mom. Please. Um, are we worried about making nice long scars down this trailer. Let's see what it well, does. We'll see what it does. Ah, uh, oh, they're not bad. We can live with that. It's not even hardly marking up the trailer. Oh, you're good. Is it going good? It's not destroying the trailer? No, no it's fine. Let me go back to the tires. The 
have like got these D-ring mounts. Tires. The wheels. <laughs> the front axle. <laughs> right about here. Okay, sounds good. I'm not sure what we're gonna do after we get to that point. I hope he has a plan because I don't. Triple the speed on the wire. money man at this rate we could be gamblers <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey that's perfect uh, i'll set the rear end down a little more one hook i'll pull grizz up into the trailer pick the front of it up and pull the dually forward Hey, did either of you ask for a sandbox for Christmas? I want the pulleys kind of centered up in the grill. Like. And we literally had it on the trailer, the front end totally off, and we were trying to push it back and it wouldn't move. Why didn't you do that? Do you want me to hold the brake on that? Yeah, this one spins. Well, isn't that the one we want to have locked up though, to spin it how we want it? Yeah, it'll just kind of pirouette on that tire. Yeah, we could do that. It's pirouetting on the other tire. <laughs> the one that actually spins. Is the other tire spinning or just dragging? No, it's just dragging. But it's spinning on the one tire that does spin. <laughs> Out of the entire truck. See if I can kind of pirouette it. Okay. And let me know if I'm gonna hit something. Okay. Or something looks like it's not gonna work.
But actually, can you steer and hold the camera all at the same time? Steer this? Yeah. Why do we need to steer it? Well, because we got to kind of guide it over into that hole. I like since the wheels are locked up. And since they're like steering that's next to impossible. Well, we got to at least do something. We'll see what it does, but we're going to need someone to steer it at one point. Might be next to impossible, but it's going to be even more impossible to get this into that spot if we don't steer. That is true. to like 50. I don't know. 50 empty and then they'll be maxed with pressure. So we just added what did you put 50 pounds? Yeah I did put 50 in them. 50 pounds in the airbags and then we slid the boom in like three feet or so. So let's see what difference this makes. Hey, the front tires are kind of on the ground. Yeah, so what I'm trying to do is pull this forward to where you can get it close and then we'll grab it from the back and push it in. We tried to grab it from the back a minute ago, but it didn't really want to do something. It's just really tough to move where only one tire spins. <laughs> Are the hubs locked? They are locked. And this is four wheel drive, I forgot we had hubs. I don't own anything that has locking hubs, so I don't think about it. Okay, that'll make a big thinking maybe we grab take one winch line to the back and one to the front and we just drag it around that might be the easiest yeah give it a try It sounded like kind of rapid clicking when I was running it. So it happens when you run two at the same time. For oh. reason. Okay. So you try to put that in the front? To yeah, lift that's it up. pretty much what's gonna have to happen for us to, especially because it's so deep in some ruts right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's way deep in there. This is when we need two of those, huh? Yeah, actually. Perhaps. I mean, it's surprising that this one still works. It is one tough jack. 
heck of a lot of mean stuff to it. Can we go get a big pry bar, Kyler? Like a really big pry bar? I got you. Yeah. I'm thinking if it didn't roll when you were dragging it, a pry bar probably ain't gonna do anything. Well, I'd say it's worth a shot. Why did you bring the little one? <laughs> yeah, no kidding though. Oh, did you make it move? No. Steered a little bit though. Jack out. That help? Came off the jack. No, we gotta get another jack to get this one out. Okay. Okay, go grab another. I'm gonna see how far I can cheat this back. Kenner, be careful. Is that about right where I said? Pretty much. Yeah, drop it down. It's totally on it now. This tire would have spun, and both rear tires spun. We could have just pushed it in. Yep. That first time we raked up, it probably would have pushed right off the trailer. Oh well, we got it. <laughs> okay, perfect. 
How do you get the thing to go up? Oh, I locked the handle. Oh. Because of what we were doing. That's a good idea. It has a little... You can lock it at that position. This oh. Is what this is the handle's for. That is very convenient. I made it safer for you. Yeah, actually. Guys got it all moved. They did this video just a few months ago while they were working really hard on getting the Onyx build done. Packrat did amazingly well in the competition. In fact, it took first place if you didn't see that yet. Make sure you watch all the footage that was taken. Paul will have some on his channel, Robbie on his, and, and the Onyx build itself will have the coverage of that. So make sure you check that out. Thank you all for your votes and for the continued support throughout that. Special thank you to all you veterans and your families for your sacrifice and your service. Greatly appreciate it. Means a lot to all of us for your willingness to serve and to bless and strengthen our country through your service. Till next time, remember, you're never wrong doing the right thing. Thanks for watching.